Hi, today we're making Cherry Garcia ice cream. Perfect for a hot summer day. Now we are going to crack some egg in the large mixing bowl. We use a large measuring cup. Alright, now we're going to add some sugar and whisk, 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 whisk. not a whisk, mix, 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 mix. mix. Until it is well combined or a nice creamy yellow. Alright, let's heat up heavy cream and milk in the large pot. And stir with the wooden spoon. Do not leave the site. No. Or it will burn or bubble over. Alright, now warm a hot mixture the of the cream into the egg mixture. And every time you add, make sure you whisk. Otherwise, you will have some scramble eggs or kernels. That's no no. Alright, now put the egg mixture back into the pot. And if you are going to cook. Right? Yes, until it's thick or until you can see a stripe on the wooden spoon when you wipe your finger on it. That's when you know it's done. Until you need to keep cooking. Again, do not leave the sights. When I said you will see the on the finger like so. Alright, then you are going to transfer the mixture into the clean bowl with the strainer. So you may be able to catch some little kernel or scramble it. Yes. If you did make some sweet scrambled eggs. And then you are going to put a couple saran of wrap and put it on the directly surface. Yes. So it does not create a film while it is in the refrigerator overnight chilling. Completely. Alright, now we are going to pit the cherries and cut them in half. Depending on how big your cherries, you can cut them in half or in quarters. It's cherries are good lately, right? Yes. They're so sweet. We use 85% cocoa dark chocolate. I do not recommend 85%. I would have used about 70. It was a bit bitter for us. Uh, well, to me. <laughs> what do yeah. you think? Yeah. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Yes, yeah. But if you like bitter chocolate, hey, use 90, 80, whatever. Or if your like, cherries are sweeter. Yeah. All right. And we're going to assemble our ice cream maker. We froze this uh, overnight. Yes. At least 24 hours or overnight. And add the cut clean custard mixture into the ice cream machine. And let it turn. Turn. It looks good already. Yes. Mm. I cut the chocolate a little bit too big. And as you can see, it starts to fumble a lot. Yeah, I was sweating. So please don't stop. Keep going. I was so excited to eat ice cream. Alright, now it looks like ice cream, right? No, it looks like saucer. Well, it still looks good though. Yes, we're going to add the cherries. And the cherries also give us a little bit of problem. But that's okay. This is one of my favorite ice cream. What is your favorite? Uh, mint chocolate. Mm, they're okay. Alright, now this is our one of our ice cream container. And we can put the ice cream into this container and then keep it in the freezer so it'll be more hard. It will not be soft sir. and cover it. By the way, that's my favorite yellow too. And this is what it looks like after it's frozen all the way. Enjoy! What does, what does, what does Goody do?